Dr. Peter Chinhong is joining us now on our Zoom. He's professor in the UCSF Health Division of Infectious Diseases. And there's been a lot of new news with this new variant. There he is. Hey, you're not hey. missing you're not missing the gym, Dr. Peter. I know. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> no, Keep, I keeping it tight throughout all this. No, I mean it's the only way to stay sane in this 20 months of madness. No, I believe me, I understand. I actually, if I don't get to an, a workout or an exercise, some something in a day, I, I'm just not the same. You know, it really, it, it's you get you get your second wind, right? It's good for the brain and the body. Yeah, good for the soul for sure. All right, Doctor Peter, let's get into it. Uh, thank you for coming on with us. We have this new variant. The Omicron variant. Uh, I, I guess the first thing is, obviously, we're living cautiously anyway, and then we hear this new variant could be dangerous, might be not so dangerous if we're vaccinated. Maybe the vaccinations won't work. We don't know too much. Don't overreact. Don't panic. I don't know what to do because I'm hearing so much like that. Well, I know there's a lot of... Uh messaging i think it probably wasn't the thanksgiving gift that everybody expected uh yeah even at the end of thanksgiving meal and all of a sudden this was word was spreading around the world i think the bottom line for me personally is that i'm not afraid um i'm vaccinated i'm boosted i still navigate the world with a little caution it is COVID times after all but i'm still going to see my mom uh for the holidays yeah. in new york across the country I still want to see Encanto on the movie theater. So it's not really <laughs> changing my 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 view of the world. Uh, I'm looking at the data with curiosity, but it's not uh, stopping me from, you know, uh, reclaiming, you know, the the joy of being vaccinated. So, doctor, I, I, I saw that the head of Moderna said he doesn't think the vaccines will fare very well against Omicron. Why? Well, well, it depends on what your goalpost is. So if your goalpost is prevention of infection, maybe there will be breakthrough infections. You know, in that case in San Francisco yesterday, the first in the U.S., uh, the person was vaccinated and uh, wasn't six months past vaccination yet to get a booster, but got infection, but it was super mild. Um, so the question is, so you might get a mild infection. It may feel like a cold if you've been vaccinated. And um, maybe that hybrid immunity of vaccine plus natural infection will be super robust. But if you're an unvaccinated person, we don't know how that will fare if you're older in particular or immune compromised. In South Africa, most of the people still had mild infection, but they were younger and university students. So I guess those are the questions, but my gut sense is you can get the enemy maybe into the front gate, but it could never get in your house because those T cells, those immune cells from the vaccine in your body is going to kick that vac that virus out of your house. It's good to hear you say yeah. all of this. It gives me peace of mind. It's comforting to hear you say all of this. Is COVID and the masks and this kind of caution that we live in going to be really the way we live the rest of our lives? I mean, I think some scientists believe that evolutionarily uh, COVID is going to settle down to what might be a nuisance of a cold. And maybe Omicron is the new wave of how COVID is going to evolve, where it may mean a mild infection for most people. And it it's kind of like something you, you sort of um, dispense with, but you carry on your life. You don't shut down the economy. I think gone are the days of you know, lockdowns, that's mm -hmm. really retro. I don't think we're ever going to go back to that. Yeah, point. I love that you say lockdowns are retro. <laughs> yeah, they're retro. I mean, it's so 2019, yeah. 2020. Yeah, vintage. You know, we're like beyond that. <laughs> uh, and I think, again, coming back to the goalpost, if you think your goalpost is prevention of infection, you're going to be doomed because you're going to see surges. But as long as people don't get very sick and go to the hospital, personally, as an infectious disease doctor, I'll be psyched, you know, and mm -hmm. I would be fine with navigating the world with with excitement and enthusiasm and joy. This is I, I'm so happy we had you on before the weekend here yeah. today to hear that. Dr. Peter Chinhong, appreciate it. Thank you for all this good information and take good care. And thank you for all the hard work you have been doing and will continue to do. And thanks, uh, Ryan, for having me on and to the team. Um, I've, I've been from the beginning of American Idol. I, I you know, I. I wanted to bring in an American Idol analogy here. Maybe 
comparing Simon Cowell to Delta and Randy Jackson <laughs> to Omicron. That gets you in a little bit of trouble, though. <laughs> that gets you into trouble. I mean, I'm, Randy Jackson is <laughs> kind of a kind of gentler, and maybe Omicron might be the Randy Jackson. But anyway, I wanted to say it. I thought about it all night. So there it is. Please. I love it. I Nailed love it. it. Dr. Peter. He's the best. And my, I, have a, I, I need another doctor. I'm signing on. I'm signing on. Yeah. All right. Take good care, sir. Thanks again, Doc. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. He's great. Professor in the UCSF Health Division of Infectious Diseases, and he's cool. Yeah, he's super cool. He used the word psyched.